Hello, and thank you for joining me today on The Political Conversationalist. My name is Ben Phipps, and as we have been for the past couple of videos, we're talking about divisive issues. And one of the most generationally divisive issues is marijuana use. Uh, older generations often say that it should remain illegal, whereas the younger generations typically say that it should be legal because it's not that bad. They both have pretty good arguments, and I'm going to, for uh, simplicity's sake, narrow it down to those who think it should be illegal and those who think it should be legal and uh, give you both arguments for both of those sides and then give you my argument. So I'm going to start with the side that thinks it should be illegal and remain illegal as it is today in most states. Uh, the first thing they cite is that marijuana smoke can be bad for your mental health. Uh, smoking marijuana, specifically before the age of 17, has been shown to impair memory and also to impair the ability to learn new material. Uh, the reason it's before you're 17 is because your mind is still growing at that point and uh, is more uh, fragile to its environment around it. So it can be bad for your mental health. They also say that there are some toxins in marijuana smoke, such as ammonia and nitric oxide, which are many times more prevalent in marijuana smoke than in tobacco smoke, which I found very surprising. Also, there's a, a disease most smokers get eventually called bullous or bullious lung disease. Uh, and that actually occurs on average 20 years uh, earlier in people who smoke marijuana as opposed to people who smoke tobacco products. Again, that surprised me. I thought specifically speaking of whether or not your, uh, how your lungs worked, marijuana would be better for you. They also say that you shouldn't smoke and drive because just like alcohol and some other drugs, it slows your reaction time down to where it would be unsafe. Uh, and the last point they make is that yes, marijuana is addictive. Now, you can argue with me that down in the comments. However, uh, there are several studies that have shown that marijuana is every bit as addictive as alcohol. So now, those are, those are the main arguments for the people who think it should remain illegal. Now, for those who think it should become legal, they say things like, uh, it's not actually a gateway drug. This, again, was something that surprised me. You always hear that you start smoking marijuana, then you end up smoking crack or uh, you know, shooting up heroin or whatever. It doesn't always seem to be the case. Uh, in fact, most people that smoke marijuana are no more likely than anyone else to go on and do cocaine or heroin or anything like that. They also point out that marijuana, specifically some of its derivative products, can be used to treat multiple diseases. The ones that have, uh, marijuana derivatives have been proven to help is uh, chronic pain, multiple sclerosis, and insomnia. So it can be good in some cases. Um, let's see. They also say, let me turn back here to my little reference book, that uh, regulation would make it even safer. Just like uh, regulating food made food safer with the FDA, regulating drugs made drugs safer. And uh, those kind of things, that's actually a pretty good point because then you can regulate and make sure that everything is grown well, that it's from a safe strain of marijuana and things like that. They also argue that it would be good for the economy and that's, proven to be true in the states that have legalized recreational marijuana uh, because of all the taxes and tax revenue that it brings into the economy. In fact, there are plenty of people who go to Colorado or Washington just to smoke pot. Uh, they also say that it is very, and this is probably their most convincing point for me, it is very hypocritical to allow recreational alcohol and recreational tobacco, but not to allow recreational marijuana. And, uh, because really it's not as bad as either of them. Very few people are smoking marijuana and driving while killing people as opposed to the uh, thousands of times a year that someone who's drinking alcohol drives a car and kills someone. Uh, very few people are getting lung cancer from marijuana smoke, but many people who smoke tobacco are getting lung cancer. So uh, they, say, they argue that it's not as bad as those two legal drugs, so why not go ahead and make it legal? So now I'm going to talk about my standpoint on the issue, and this may or may not interest you, but this is what I think should be done. First off, let me preface the entire statement I'm going to make with this. Marijuana is a drug, not a chemical. It's a plant, not a chemical. Inside the actual marijuana that you smoke, or that someone would smoke, there are hundreds and hundreds of chemicals. And some of them, like I mentioned, could be used to treat multiple sclerosis. Some of them can be used for insomnia. Some of them can be used for pain relief. Some of them can even increase your appetite in people who have anorexia or bulimia. However, they also come with the things I mentioned in the other one, like ammonia and nitric oxide and other toxins. So smoking marijuana is basically like going to the pharmacy and saying, 
give me one of everything. Take, give me a Percocet and a Xanax and uh, some Oxycontin and, oh, look, is that an antibiotic? And just taking take one of everything in the store. And I'm sure some of those things would help you. You know, you might take something and you might feel great for a little while. Eventually, that's going to harm you because it's just not, uh, it's too much of an unknown to allow that into your body. Now, I think today's world, we can draw a pretty clear uh, line from today's prohibition of marijuana to the prohibition of alcohol in the past. Uh, just like in the prohibition of alcohol, they attempted to outlaw alcohol. People didn't go for it. They wasted a lot of money trying to chase it down. And eventually they made it legal again. So that's probably what's going to end up happening with marijuana in my opinion. But what should happen, I believe, is that we should legalize marijuana for medicinal use. And uh, the reason I say that is I'm not talking about, you know, you, little, you smoke your little bowl because your back hurts. That's not legal use of uh, medicinal marijuana. I believe drug companies should be able to take marijuana and use its derivatives to produce new medications. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Now, as far as recreational marijuana, because I understand exactly as they say that it's not as bad as tobacco and it's not as bad as alcohol, which I suppose in a perfect world, all three would be illegal because people wouldn't try to harm themselves for fun. Regardless of that, uh, this isn't a perfect world. So I agree with them that it is hypocritical. So what I believe should actually happen is a nationwide referendum uh, to create a federal law either banning or allowing the use of recreational marijuana. Uh, I know you've probably heard me mention it in other videos now, but I believe that the referendum is probably the best way to keep your finger on the pulse of the people and to really make sure that your representative government actually represents them. So anyway, that's what I think should happen on the marijuana front. Uh, don't smoke it. I'm going to be honest, it's not good for you. Just like smoking cigarettes, it's not good for you. Uh, just like drinking alcohol is not good for you. I don't do any of those three. That's a personal choice for me. But it is better for your health and it is uh, better for your mental health to refrain from all three of those activities. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.